Hey Fairchild Wheeler, my name is Jordan Jean-Claude and I'd like to show you a special video about Fairchild. If you're ever walking in the woods, just Go keep, this in the back of, keep that in the back of your head. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Fairchild Wheeler News. I'm Carla Bermudez. And I'm Omi Chami. Today will be 71 degrees and cloudy. We will be having pizza and broccoli for lunch. Let's see what's going on around the campus. Hi, it's Devin Barada here for some more news in my sunglasses because we are summer ready here at Fairchild Wheeler. I, I think I heard that you're like um, the head of the Honors Society or something yeah, like that. I served as president um, last year. So what are, you, what are your plans for summer? Sorry for cutting you off earlier. Well, I might travel, uh, I might go to Spain, and then um, just hang out with the boys. The boys! Well, do you have any advice for any um, upcoming like uh, freshman or sophomore? Don't slack off your freshman year. I did that. I regret it. But make sure you just, like try your, your best since the beginning, and it'll be all worth it. Hi, I'm with Shaeja and Nicole. So guys, how do you feel that school's coming to an end? I am very excited. Aww, yeah. Very excited. So what are you guys doing for the summer? Are you guys turning up? Yes. Yeah, they turning up. All right, I'm here with Mani. So how do you feel about the end of the school year? I'm excited because I'm tired of school. It stresses me out. <laughs> so what are you guys doing for the summer? Work. Work. Work and going to Puerto Rico. Relay for Life is coming up. There are fundraisers happening on campus to raise money to combat cancer. Let's go down to Devin and Cody, who is interviewing the person who planned Relay at Fairchild, Mr. Anthony. So can you tell us about Relay for Life this year? Yeah, of course. Um, so Relay for Life is a cancer event started in the mid-1900s by a man named Dr. Gordy Klatt in Seattle. And Relay for Life's are where a community comes together to walk around a track in solidarity and raise money for cancer. Um, and last year, in 2014, 2015, we decided to make our first in Bridgeport's Relay for Life. So we're trying to bring together the Bridgeport community, get everyone together in one night of solidarity, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., and do a fun walk around the school to raise money for cancer. Okay, sounds like fun. And how would you say this year is different from last year? This year, we wanted to reach more in the Bridgeport community. We wanted to tap in to those people in uh, the northeast east section of Bridgeport, the southeast section of Bridgeport. Um, the whole community in total, we wanted to get all of Bridgeport over here and surrounding counties, Fairfield, Trumbull, Monroe, Shelton, and just bring one big group together. And um, our goal was to raise um, 20, around $30,000 this year. Okay. Let's go to Nick and Elias, who is spreading the word about the events. So, do you know about Relay for Life? Of course. Of course he does, because he gave us this assignment. A relay's coming up June 2nd to June 3rd, and there's going to be some late night events there, uh, such as like Cornhole. Uh, do, do you know anything about Cornhole as a sports enthusiast? I, I do. I actually own my own set of Cornhole, so uh, perhaps I'll be there challenging anyone who, you know, would like to lose. And uh, so, are you planning on attending Relay by any chance? Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to attend Relay for Life. I have a previous commitment. Well, as a gym teacher, uh, don't you think you have a commitment because there's going to be like a water balloon toss? Uh, there's going to be cornholing at one in the morning there. Cornholing. Yeah, and the whole nine yards, so. Uh, I'm really sad that I can't go, but hopefully another gym teacher will step up and run these events for Relay. Oh. 
<laughs> Mr. Klein. <laughs> I really don't think he wants to be here. <laughs> So I'm here with uh, Naomi, and we hear you're making some shirts for Relay, is that true? Yes, I'm actually making my own shirt, and it's going to have every um, color of the cancer sign in the back, and I'm going to have people um, who support cancer to sign it. We are bringing together awesome events, lip sync battles, talent shows, um, family game hour, Mr. Universe pageant. We're going to have a blast. So many fun speakers bringing the community together, raising money for cancer. You can't get any better than that. It's going to be a great way to end the year. Check out iModal for Relay for Life page to get more details about each activity and sign up if you plan on participating. Serious sign-ups only, please. Have a wonderful day, everyone.